My name is Ebenezer Amwako Entry, and you are so welcome to this YouTube channel. On this YouTube channel, you are going to get videos that will set you up in your work with God and also with your prayer life. On this channel, you upload videos consistently to make sure that believers are guided to pray and pray and pray. If you are new to this YouTube channel, make sure that you subscribe to the YouTube channel so that when we upload new videos, you can have access to them. And also, if you don't understand anything, kindly send us a message and we will get back to you. Also, make sure that this video you are about to watch, you will like the video, try and comment on it. And when you are blessed by the video, make sure that you share it to someone. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I bring greetings from the Global Coordinating Team of PESA International. And we are very grateful for this opportunity to share uh, the Word of God with you. I salute fully our dear fathers in the house. And, uh, and I greet all. Praise the Lord. Uh, in our youth director's submission, he played a song. I think that is a very powerful song that can bless us. And so if you don't mind, I want us to sing it together. Father to Son, Spirit to Spirit, I'm lighted by your word. Mm. With the breath of life, that's how I change my world. That's how I change my world. Father to son, sing. Father to son, spirit to spirit, I'm lighted by your word. With the breath of life, that's how I come alive. That's how I change my world. Oh. Just speak your name upon me. Breathe. Breathe your name. Just breathe your name upon me. Breathe. Your name will hang. Your name will hang. Just breathe your name upon me. Just breathe your name upon me. Just breathe your name upon me. Just breathe your name. Sin shall be, and so we commit our hearts before you that you shall breathe your name and breathe your word, and let the entrance of your word bring us light in the name of Jesus. Let this word bring us hope, let it bring faith in our hearts, let it transform and change our lives, let it impact us to go out there to make impact in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, I'm speaking very shortly on the theme manifesting the spirit of excellence manifesting the spirit of excellence manifesting the spirit of excellence and i'm going to read a few scriptures and then we will engage a little bit and then we'll be done i read my first scripture from the book of proverbs chapter 22 verse 25 29 proverbs 22 29 i will also anchor our discussions around the book of john sorry daniel chapter 6 i'll pick a few things in the book of daniel and then I will touch also a little bit on 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 7. So, Proverbs chapter 22, verse 29, I will dwell a bit more on Daniel chapter 6, and then I will touch on 2 Corinthians 
chapter 8, verse 7. You know, I believe that there is no better time in this, our church, to be a young person. The opportunities and the doors that our fathers have opened to us is amazing. If you, if you agree with me that the Lord has blessed us with good fathers, just clap your hands to the glory of God for these fathers. Now, Proverbs, which is my introduction, Proverbs 22, 29 says that, Do you see a man who excels in his works? He will stand before kings. He will not stand before unknown men. And interestingly, when I took my time to understand the scripture, I realized that the communications of God are specific. He intends. Everything God says is not for grammatical uh, multiplicity. He intends to say everything he said. And so you can take him for his word. And he says that, do you see a Christian? Do you see a pastor? Or maybe you have to see a prayerful guy. He says, all you need to see is a man who is skilled. In other words, I mean, my version, the new, the new uh, King James Version says, do you see a man who is excellent in what he does? Remember, I'm talking to you about manifesting the spirit of excellence. And the Bible tells us that when a man, whether they are Muslim, Christian, Buddhist, Hindu, whatever they are, if a man decides to, to understand the principles and the, and the, and the, and the, and the places of God, and he decides to place him, reposition himself in the place of excellence, the Bible says that that man, he will stand before mighty men. He will stand before kings. It means that there is a place for the standing before kings, and every man has that ability and opportunity. In fact, when our dear director was speaking, he mentioned something. He says that it's our church going to be able to position itself so that in this time, in this time, in this time, we will be able to stand the whims and the caprices of this our time and our age and as our dear brothers and sisters were singing I was seated and I saw smoke you know here one of the beauties that we we do in church today is that we, we must bring smoke we invent our own thank you very much brothers give it up for Jesus we are in Pensa already we invent our own heavenly atmospheres and so as incense go into heaven we put smokes and I want to imagine what our forefathers might have thought about. And these things cost money. And so they'll be thinking, what is the essence of smoke in worship? Because these things are not important. But you see, we've come to a place that in our time and our generation, men, young men, young ladies are looking for excellence. And when man is able to position himself with excellence, Bible says that he will become a, a, a person that men look up to. I was watching the World Cup and I saw a man. He said, I saw Christians posting the guy is a, is a Muslim. He's Kudus. I think his first name is Muhammad. Everyone says, oh, God bless Muhammad Kudus. Christians have started naming themselves Muhammad Kudus. Why? Because we found one gentleman in Ghana who out of all our, 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 our passion for football as young people and as a country, we've seen one man in whom our hope can rely. And so when it comes to football, our our, I'm, I'm, I'm afraid to use this word, but our hope, Christ in you, football in you, our hope is kudus. Now, now it, it will sound like, it will sound like it's a joke, but wait until kudus becomes an international figure and he wins a match and he wins a goal and he, and he kicks into and he opens his chest and he writes, I love Mohammed. And you see the impact that one man has because the man has taken his time to understand the wisdom in football. He has taken his time to, 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 to master the practice of, of scoring goals. When a man excels, it doesn't matter. I know some Christians were praying for kudus so that he will sign and because as he shines, Ghana shines. I pray that after this impact makers conference, the Lord will place impact making ability on the young men and young ladies here. We will go out there, not only in church, but we'll go and shine for the world to see Christ in the corporate world. Why? Because the Bible says that, the Bible says that, seeth thou a man who is excellent in what he does. The Bible says when he is excellent, it will not matter his religion. Now, so to answer or to attempt to answer the director's question, would our church be able to, to, to come to a place of, 
you know, of, of ganging up to this world, I suggest to you that the, one of the answers possibly might be this discussion. Men must arise and be excellent. We must have young ladies in our church, like our, our sister Safwa did, who, when it comes to beauty, is Christians. When it comes to intelligence, is Christian. When it comes to finances, is Christian. When it comes to technology, is Christian. I don't know what you are still waiting for, but I'm saying when it comes to football, is Christians. When it comes to politics, is Christians. When it comes to the corporate, we must have excellent men and, and women. And this is how we will take our world. That we are excellent in the things we do. And we are not apologetic for wanting to be excellent. We are excellent. For Christ in us is the hope of glory for that excellence ahead. That and the entirety of creation is looking for. Excellence. Excellence. So my introduction is that we, we need to understand that there is a place. There is a, there, is a, there is a space created for men to be able to, to, to possess this land. And the, and, and the writer says when we say the wells, he's not talking about nations. He says people. People are looking for men with excellence. One day we traveled for missions work. And maybe tomorrow we'll discuss more about Pensa International. When we went, we went to a nation called Singapore. I saw one of our brothers here who was there with us. Singapore is a very rich country. It's the second most expensive city in the world. And when we went there, the people, I mean, long story short, we were, by the grace of God, the Lord found himself a church. And we're talking to one of these guys who is now going to be part, a, a part of, and a pastor of the Church of Pentecost. And we said, our name is the Church of Pentecost. We do this and that and that and that. The next day, when we met the guy, the Singaporean guy had gone to read everything about the Church of Pentecost. He knows the picture of our chairman. He knows, and he says, when I see the faces of your leaders, I see that they are humble men. And he says, because of this, I think this will be a good church. I pray that Lord will lift up excellent humble men and women in our, in, our, in our midst. And so it is important for us to understand that excellence is a key. If we will make impact, if we will make impact, if for once the Bible means anything, then the Bible says that a way, the way to the top is that a person will agree and decide to live an excellent life. Excellent. Excellent. It's important. And when I said through the entirety of scripture, I saw that there were many, many good men. There were many, many anointed men. There are people that God used in so many wonderful ways. I mean, you can talk about Abraham. You can talk about people. When we preach about them, you can cry and do many, many wonderful. So there are good, good, good men. There are godly men in scripture. But in, in the use of the New King James Version, the entirety of the scripture, the, the exact word excellence was used for one man. And I'm like, wow. So I'm saying that there are good men. I'm not saying that this is the only good man. I'm saying that when I was looking for the exact word excellence, I saw it attached to one man. And that man was by name Daniel. And so we will focus on the story of Daniel. Please let's read from the book of Daniel chapter 3. So that I will know that we are in this together. If you don't mind, we can read together. Daniel chapter 3, I'm reading from the verse 1. Remember, I'm talking to you about manifesting the spirit of excellence. And so Daniel chapter 3, from the verse 1. Man of God, if you don't mind, then we can project it. All right, I read. Nebuchadnezzar the king made an image of gold. Sorry, Daniel chapter 6, from the verse 1, sorry. It pleased Darius to set over the kingdom 120 satraps to be over the, the whole kingdom and over these three governors of whom Daniel was one that the king will suffer no loss this Daniel verse 3 this Daniel distinguished himself above the governors and the satraps because an excellent spirit was in him and the king gave thought to setting him over the whole earth, over the whole realm. The king saw that I have picked satraps. I've, I will call the satraps maybe uh, ministers. And above the ministers, I'm choosing three senior ministers. 
But after I chose these three senior ministers, I still feel that this guy, Daniel, I have to give him rulership and authority over the entire realm. Why? Because an excellent spirit was upon him. The topic I was giving is very clear. It says that the topic is manifesting the spirit of God. So it means the, the spirit of excellence. So it means that the topic is letting us understand that already you have the spirit of excellence. And hence, I should discuss with you how to manifest it. The, 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 the topic is not telling me to teach you how to receive it. It says you have it already. And to prove that you have the spirit of excellence, I, I want to let you know that this spirit of excellence that was in Daniel, the Bible says in a thought, the king said, I know that the spirit of the Holy Ghost, I knew. Now, in verse 3, Daniel chapter 6 verse 3, the king is saying that the guy has been able to distinguish himself. When he's praying, he's different. When he's singing, he's different. If it is eating, he's different. The brothers are not minding me. I'm saying, if he's eating, he's so different. I don't know, has the KNUSD I was in, has it changed? I said, brothers, when Daniel is still eating, he's different. And when he's fasting, he's different. When he's making up, he's different. He's different. Why? Because an excellent spirit was on him. But what brings about the excellent spirit? The excellent spirit comes from chapter 5, verse 11 to 14. Chapter 5, Daniel chapter 5, verse 11 to 14. I want you to understand that you already have this excellent spirit in you. Daniel 5, 11 to 14 says that. It says, there is a man in your kingdom in whom the spirit now, the, the scripture I'm using, the, when you get to the spirit, it uses capital S. The spirit of the Holy God resides. Now, they are talking about Daniel. In chapter 5, he says that there is a man in your kingdom. In this man, the spirit of the Holy God resides. He says, and in the days of your father, light and understanding and wisdom, like the wisdom of the gods, were found in him. The king Nebuchadnezzar, your father, your father the king, made him chief of the magicians and astrologers, Chaldeans and soothsayers. Verse 12. In as much as an excellent spirit. So you see the correlation. First of all, he says, this guy called Daniel, he has the spirit of the holy God. And in verse 12, he says, no, because he has the spirit of the holy God, if I want to, if I want to transpose or use a different word for the spirit of the Holy God, I can also say that he has the spirit of excellence. So the, the, the writer is saying that, now king, there is a guy in your kingdom, he has something. If you want to transpose the words or if you want to change words, first you can say that that which he has is the spirit of the Holy Ghost. However, in the context of our discussion, I know that that same spirit of the Holy Ghost can be translated as the spirit of excellence. So Daniel has a spirit of excellence, but that spirit of excellence is not any different from the Holy Ghost that a brother is having in this house. Because I know there is a sister in this house who has the spirit of the Holy Ghost in him. There is a brother right here who can speak in tongues. And I'm here to announce to you that you have the spirit of the Holy Ghost. And once you have the spirit of the Holy Ghost, I can assure you, you have something else. It is called the spirit of excellence because the spirit of the Holy God is the spirit of excellence. The spirit of Jesus is the spirit of excellence. Somebody in Pensa, you have the spirit of excellence. Somebody shout excellence. excellence. You have it. Why? Because the guy we are learning from, you see, he did not have anything different from what you have. Everything you have is what he had. For what stays in you is what, is what was in him. And so when you wake up in the morning and you are singing your song, Manatola Fadi Katole, Bregunse Fratina Manai, Agunde, something that worked in Daniel is working in you as well. And our chairman says that when I wake up in the morning, I behave like a lion and I roar a little bit. Somebody in this house, when you roar, the spirit of excellence is roaring within you. When you roar, the spirit of excellence is coming alive. For the spirit of the Holy God is in you. Hey. It is strange that you can fail. 
For you have the spirit of the Holy Ghost in you. You have the spirit of the Holy Ghost in you. Now, now, now I want you to understand this once and for all that there is no other different wonderful thing hidden anywhere. It is that same Holy Ghost. That same Holy Ghost. I pray that that same Holy Ghost will find expression and manifestation in your life. That same Holy Ghost. That is, I was on this campus. I was here. I was in Katanga Hall. And I salute Prof. They were so grateful. I mean, they were so helpful to us. And we're walking around, around as though, you see, when I was in Pensa, I was part of the prayer secretaries. And we're praying and going and coming. And, and one time, went to pray at Unity Hall. There's a friend of mine. May, may his soul rest in peace. I love him. I love him. May his soul rest in peace. And after we prayed, he saw me. I was in land economy. Economy one. He said, why do you always pray here? Don't you know that people will see you? In fact, we were not praying that people will see us, but that was the only place we could pray. He said, and you always make noise. You are my friend, my classmate. He said, you always, that is the reason why your GPA is, that, that, that. I will not tell you the GPA. <laughs> I will not tell you. And I was so cut in the heart. Because, for you, if you where I came from, the only thing my mother gave me when I entered this campus was that same Jesus. When I went to Katanga Hall, in fact, on all my days on this campus, I either perched or I was perched. Perching from first year, second year, third year, I sold my bed in second year so that I can get the school fees. Here, I can get the school fees to, to settle. I mean, prof has been a blessing. But when you have the spirit of the Holy God in you, Look, it might look as though everything is, is slow. It might look as though you are the colloquial brother and the sister in, in town. It might look as though there is nothing really important happening in your life. Tell them to give you time. It's only a matter of time. There is a manifestation in you. Something is coming out within you. And in the time of God, God will make himself strong. When we finished school, I had brothers, good friends, first class. The first brother in that class I say this humbly to the glory of God and to encourage you because you have something in you. Pentecostal, no, baby, boom. Baby, boom. They told us, the fathers mentioned it, and we have seen and tasted of its truth. There is something here. You're being. The day they called me, say, come and receive your doctoral degree. I remembered, and I said, in a name, Yehovah, would they want what they now, mommy? In a name, Jesus, eh, would they want what they now? Oh, now, eh, would they want what they now? Would they want what of excellence in you don't be discouraged don't be discouraged don't let anybody look down on you because you're not worried what they were don't be discouraged you have the spirit of excellence and so this is to tell you that you already have it now our discussion is how to manifest it because if you have a thing that you don't manifest it will not be shown the Bible says that when we go to heaven, God will wipe away our tears. But I also know that there is nothing that will cause us to cry in heaven. So I'm asking, why will people have tears? And my little understanding, because I'm still learning, is that many people who did not come for this conference, they will see the magnitude of God's goodness for them whilst they were on earth here. And because they did not manifest it, when in heaven, God shows them all that the cross did for them, they will start crying. They will say, ah, so I had all this. They will say, ah, so this grace was in stock for me. But I pray this morning, before you leave this conference today, you shall receive the means to manifest this excellence and you shall be an excellent young lady and a young man. Yes, for you have it. Hit your chest and say, I have the spirit of excellence. Why? Because the spirit of the holy God lives in you. So how do we manifest 
the spirit of excellence. That is my topic, manifesting the spirit of excellence. And like I told you, because we found out this spirit of excellence from this brother called Brother Daniel, we will learn to learn, we'll have to learn from him. Number one, I'll just share three points with you. Number one, how to manifest the spirit of excellence. How to manifest the spirit of excellence. Number one, know your God. Number one, know your God. How to manifest the spirit of excellence. Number one, know your God. Daniel chapter 11, verse 32. Daniel chapter 11, verse 32. Daniel chapter 11, verse 32. Daniel chapter 11, verse 32 says that those who do wickedly, wickedly against the covenant, he shall corrupt with flattery. But the people who know their God, they shall be strong and do exploit. How do I manifest the, the Holy Ghost, who is the spirit of excellence, who is in me? How do I manifest? First, you must know your God. Now, I love God and I thank God for the God of the Church of Pentecost. But there will be a point in your life, you may need something greater than our God. There will be a day in your life, you will need to make, you see, at a point, the God of our fathers will be good, but someday will happen. You will need your own experience to say that my God will deliver, deliver me. My God. My God. And so, the first step to manifesting this spirit of excellence is that you must not only know the God of the Church of Pentecost. You must not only know the God of our fathers. You must not only know the God of some man, some woman, some prophet, some pastor, some apostle. You must also know the God of Patrick Adonu, my God. My God. Now listen to what happened to Daniel. The Bible says that in the book of Daniel chapter 6 verse 20. Now Daniel had been captured. He has been placed in the lion's den. Follow. Follow me. Daniel had been captured. He has been placed in the lion's den. And this was what happened to the king. The Bible says verse 20. And when... He came to the den. He's talking about the king. He cried out with a lamenting voice to Daniel. The king spoke saying to Daniel, Daniel, servant of the living God, has your God. Hmm. Daniel, you are the servant of the living God. He is the God for all the living. He is the God for all the Christians. But the king was wise to say that now he is looking to save a, he said, Daniel, Daniel, servant of the living God, the God, our God is God of all the living. But he went on to say that is thy God whom you serve continually able to deliver you from the dead? I ask you today, you can your God deliver you from your den? Because if care is not taken, we will hide around and behind the God of the Church of Pentecost. If care is not taken, we will hide behind and around the God of our fathers. And interestingly, we may not be able to meet that God that they met. For how come they were able to raise the dead and we've not raised them? And we are talking about their gods. Where is our God? Where is our God? One of the things I say a lot is how did that God the coming of the Holy Ghost puke into the heart of them so that every now and then they were going around looking for souls. How come our God makes us dance alone? How? How is their God able to let them live righteous life but our God, some way, somehow, some way, somehow, is okay when there are compromises? Who is your God? Who is your God? <laughs> Don't be masqueraded by our God. For the men you see seated here, they know their God. We, when we are, maybe, uh, one of the things I fear in the church of Pentecost is when the fathers sit down and they do this. <laughs> if you're a wise man, be afraid. As soon as they do this, you check your surroundings and make sure that you are okay. Say, you're born by color, patterns, in eye, in eye. Then the fathers are seated and they are. 
Oh, and I said, I start calculating. Look, let me be careful with the things I'm doing. Like, for they know their God. Daddy, I salute sir. The cameraman, be careful. That shall not put the preacher in trouble. Do you have a God? Do you know your own God? Daniel, servant of the living God, servant of the God of the Church of Pentecost, servant of the God of all Christians, has your God. For we may come for conferences, but some of us, our gods are our looks. That is the reason why when that day you did not look good, you felt as though God was not with you. Let's be careful. Do we know our God? Because some of us, our God is the microphone. That is the reason why when they said, you will not leave the praise. That day you felt like the God didn't come because you didn't leave the praise. Am I preaching the word of God in this house? Do you know your God? For some of us, our God can be money. That is the reason why when money is not in your pocket, you know the Holy Ghost runs away. Daniel, servant of the God of the of Pentecost, has thy God been able to save you? Who is your God? Because in the day of reckon, everybody will have to call on their God. There is a day coming, people will call on the God of their certificates. And that God of the certificates will not show up. Because in that place, certificates cannot hold up. There is a day coming, people will call on the God of money. But that God of money will not be able to show up. Because we will be dealing with things greater than money. There is a day coming, some people will call on the God of human beings. And they will say, oh, this God, this God, that God, this one. He said, Paul and Silas, I know. Jesus, I know. Paul, I know. But wh who are you? Ask your friend, who is your God? How to manifest Who is your God? Who is your God? Who is your God? Who is your God?
Who is your God? How do you manifest the spirit of excellence? You must know your God. I pray if you are here and you've not had an encounter with Jesus Christ, after the end of this conference, you will meet this Jesus. You will meet this Jesus. I pray that the God of our fathers shall be our own God for today. In the name of Jesus. Please take your seat. Humbly, humbly take your seat. We have to continue. So, the first way, because I've told you respectfully, that you have the spirit of excellence in you. For the spirit of the Holy God was in Daniel. And the speaker says that because the spirit of the Holy God is in him, I know he has the spirit of excellence. But how do we manifest this? One, Daniel, servant of the living God, has thy God. Daniel chapter 6 verse 22. Now, this is Daniel's response. 22, 6, 22. Daniel's response is that, he says, Then Daniel said to the king, O king, Live forever. 22. My God has sent angels. It means, as for my God, he has angels. My God has sent angels. And the angels are able to make human beings look like, they look like cabbage in front of lions. So the lion sees the human being and he does not have appetite. My God is able to do that. My God has sent angels and they have shut the lion's mouth and they have not hurt me. For as much as before him, I am innocent, was found in me. And also before the O oh, king, I have done no hurt. The important is that my God has sent his angels. Abraham says that I was a fool once in my house. My fathers had a God. I had never heard about this Elohim. I heard a voice one day. The voice said, pick, get up, pick your family. Go to a land, I will, I, I will not even tell. When you get there, I'll show you. He said, I will go. The guy traveled there for years. Now, this same God gave him a son. And now, this same God said, go and kill this. I said, ah, I know this, my God. I have testimonies of this, my God. When I was in primary, preach with me. When I was in Jesus, ah, yeah. In SSS, in the university, so I know in my marriage, in the job, when the lecturer tells you the thing that is not consistent with scripture, what must you say? When we go out and the people of the world tell us, Pentecost for day, what's the day? I say, when they say that, do you know what you say? But you must know your God. You must know your God. Number two, how to manifest the spirit of excellence. Number two, dare to be different. Dare to be different. Dare to be different. Daniel chapter 6 verse 3. Then this Daniel distinguished himself. The word distinguished means, Daniel chapter 6 verse 3, sorry, 6 verse 3. Huh? Then this Daniel was preferred, you could use the New King James Version. He said, he distinguished himself above the precedents, above the princes, above the girls' girls, above the boys' boys. Above the bearded brothers, Kabada Tanafala. Above the makeup girls. Yeah. He distinguished himself. It means that there were girls, there were guys, there were students, there were young men. There were young ladies, but Daniel did something. He dared to be different. Look, there is no amount of, of ordinariness that will make you excel. 
Now, I say this with a lot of caution, but I'm saying that we must dare to distinguish ourselves. The director said that on campus, what, we came early, we started singing. What is your problem? We came to the classroom early. When we came, we started singing and we said we'll do Bible study. You two, if you come early next time, come and she jama, it's fine. So we will have young men who go to class early because they know they have to preach. Land the economy. We will preach every day. We preach that. Let be comfortable for them to call you a sofu. And give our ladies who say you will not marry pastors, repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. For you are not encouraging the brothers. Brothers, am I speaking the truth of God? Distinguish yourself. Now, now, let's come home. Please, come down. Flow with me. Follow me. We don't have so much time. You must intentional because there is something that has to do with excellence that is intentional. The Bible said that for this Daniel, he had the spirit of God. He had the spirit of excellence. But he decided to distinguish himself. Me, Daniel, I will be different. I will be different. I will be, I want to be different. I have seen that everybody does, everybody prays 16 hours. I will be different. I will pray 16 and a half hours. I will be different. You, you must leave this impact makers conference going home with the understanding that in my district, in my local, in my area, in my home, in my room, in my area, I will be different. I'll be different. I'll be different. I'll be different. I will speak differently. It's so important because the yeah, everybody is comfortable with let me be counted among the groups let them not see me different because you see when you are different you'll be pointed at you'll be hated at you'll be spoken about they will say things they, this will happen but Daniel distinguished himself it means that he made himself different you must be different one day I went somewhere and for the first time I saw a man of God of our church. The way he was leading the prayer, I just loved him. I loved the way, I said, hey, Charlie, the way the father is leading the prayer, I have hope for my future. He said, hey, this is aggressive prayer. I don't know if I should mention his name, but our dear daddy, Danny, Apostle Easy, if I'm right, Daddy was leading the prayer at Takwa. And the way he was leading the prayer, I said, Hey, Father, thank you. As for this one, I can be a young man in the Church of Pentecost and be prayerful. I can, I can be like him. You must dare to be different. You must, you, must, you must desire to be different. And I mean proper difference. I mean being different above the status quo of the world. Of the world. Because in Ghana, many people accept lateness to be the norm. He said, let's meet at 5. Oh, me do all 5, 15, 5, 10, 5.30. And it's okay. But be different. Be different. Little, little things. Everybody does not polish their shoe. No one polish shoe there. Be different. Everybody does not, they don't iron their shirts. The brothers in Katanga Hall may not really bath every day. But it's fine. We will still be different. Be different. Sisters. See, they say sisters should not pray aggressively, but I'll be different. They say if you fast too much, you will get also, I'll be different. They say, oh, but if we have God, we don't even have to study so much. They say, and if the Spirit of God that, that, that rose Jesus Christ from the dead, lived, he will quicken your mortal body. So oh, we will not study much. No, 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 no. I will pray and I will study. I'll be different. I'll be different. I'll, so how do you, how do you, uh, you know, manifest this excellent spirit. Dare to be different. Dare. Dare. All this we see, all this light, all these ideas are product of our fathers. Sometimes I tell my friends, look at the churches we have. Look at the auditoriums we have. These are the product of the men we are criticizing. What are we doing for the next generation? What will they come and meet? What will we leave for them? Light? Smoke? What is the power we will hand to my nine, 11 month old son? How, what would I give him? But God is raising an army in this church today. 
young men and young ladies who are daring to be different and seeking God, seeking God, their focus is that something new must happen. They want to rise above the princes and the satraps of this current hedges. They want to be different. I pray in the name of Jesus that you shall be different. I pray that you have the courage to be different. And I mean proper, decent difference. Holy Ghost infested difference. Holy Ghost infused difference. Holy Ghost possessed difference. For this is the proof of Daniel's excellence. He was different. Point number three. Then we finish. You must have unyielding resolve not to compromise. Number one, you must know your God. Number two, you must dare to be different. Number three, you must have unyielding resolve not to compromise. In Daniel chapter 1, verse 8 to 16, the Bible says that after the king of Babylon had brought all the brothers and the sisters home, he had brought men he had chosen, people he wanted to train so that they serve his God. One man said, I want to show forth the spirit of excellence. Hence, I will not eat the king's food and his meat. I won't. I will not eat today. I will not eat tomorrow. Tomorrow next and the next thousand years, I will not eat. I'm yielding resolve. In Daniel chapter 6, verse 10, 28, 10 to 28, he, the Bible says that they, they tell Daniel, Daniel, we have made instructions. The instructions are so that no man in this land, no man, no man should pray to any other God. No man should pray. The Bible says that as soon as Daniel heard that, the Bible says he went to his room, opened the windows, and he said, Me free makume, me sheni awaya, esesem me dawasiyo, oh, unsa nunu. The kings, his guys are coming. They are coming. And when they catch you, indeed, they will throw you in the den of the, of the lions. And, and it has been announced. Newspapers have gone out. Everybody is coming for Daniel. All the world were upon him. Every man on earth was going to show Daniel it only takes wisdom they will tell you that not compromising is not wise because they will say you can just say okay and go back to your room and lock the doors and pray but Daniel says that let everyone see I will not compromise <laughs> You have your last minute. I panos They tell him, Daniel, you have your last second. Denounce your God. Denounce your God. I can give you this job. I will give you this appointment if you will sleep with me. Denounce your God. Everybody has sinned before. Everybody has done mistake before. If you do it and you ask for forgiveness of sins, God will forgive you. But Daniel will tell all the others, me free man. And 
and he says, I will not denounce my God. I will not denounce my God. I will not denounce. Usa Nuduma. Hey, I will not denounce. I will not compromise. that Jesus fell on his life is when he was going to the cross the Bible says the night before Jesus who came to heaven because God he knew that he was going to die for man now the night for the day for him to be crucified he went to pray a prayer the only time Jesus Christ prayed three times was that he prayed father this cup is too much it's too much take it away from me I beg you if there is a way take it away God but he says not my will but your will be done and the guy knew he was going to go through a lot the bible says that on the day of his crucifixion the only time i read in scripture that jesus himself they beat him and he fell down but jesus says i will not compromise once i've said i'll go to the cross for the sake of pensa KNUSC, for the sake of pensa legon for the sake of pensa ghana i will keep i will keep on and keep keeping on i will keep going i'll keep going i will not give up and you did resolve have you fallen? Don't stay there. Have you wronged? Don't stay there. Get back to the devil and tell them, I've come back from Impact Makers Conference. I will not give up again. I will not stay down again. I will not resolve again. I will not give up. 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 You messed up with that boy. That was last year. Now it's a new year. You go back and look into the face of that brother. Tell them, I sin with you, but no more, no more, no more. It will not happen again. It will not happen again. And you then resolve not to give up. In this Christianity, and you then resolve not to give up. And so therefore, if you feel like a sinner, I came to preach to you. If you feel like the most unworthy person in this room, I came to preach to you. If you are the worst of us all, there is still a place for you. Don't give up. Don't give up. King, I will not eat. 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 Please be on your feet as we pray. Yes, yes, me. Me, yes, yes, me. Yes, yes, me. So, so, so. the Holy Ghost be manifested in you you will know your God you will know your own God you will know your own God you will dare to be different you will dare to be different in the name of Jesus and you will not compromise you will not compromise even if you are fallen it's a time for you to get back up even if you are fallen it's a time for you to get back up even if you are fallen 
is your day. This is your day. This is your year. This is your year. This is your year. Holy Ghost. 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 Somebody lift up prayer. Lift up prayer. Lift up prayer. Lift up prayer. This is my year. I am an impact maker. I am an impact maker. I know my God. I know my God. And I dare to be different. Lift it up. 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 Anana nosa. Rada da 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 kumai. Epe ya paninai. Aradu da da. Aswa da paye. Anana nosa. Hey, 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 hey. Somebody lift it up. Pensacana. Lift up your voice. Know your God. 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 When you call him, he hears. When you call him, he answers. Know your God. Know your God. Adada. Dare to be different in prayer. Dare to be different in prayer. Ado. Adada. Erako manapiadai. Asuna. Don't get tired. Don't get tired. Pray differently. Dare to be different. Rada da da da. Ay 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 ay. Come by. Ipaya ipaya. Ipaya ipaya. Adam brand no summer. Adwan tanamanai. Papa papa papa. Adran na na no. Gabran na na na. Aswana. 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 Araba ba. Thank you Lord. Now, we want to take our last but one prayer. We want to take our last but one prayer. And then our fathers will pray for us. There is a song for our fathers. It says that. She ran, oh she, she ran, she, mommy, eradie, susum kum kum yeswe, hamia, hey nina, hey nina, hey nina, she ran, she ran, mommy, eradie. You have, you have, you have a backup of stories against you. Please come down, come down. The strings are low. Now, now, please, please, just give me your ear. I want to pray a particular prayer. I'm saying that you are here, you are caught up in guilt. Abrabona, Esisino, you've made mistakes. And so when you come and we are doing these things, you, 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 it's only here that you have joy. You are battling with a battle of, 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 of burden. And it's all because years back you made mistakes. But this morning, I sense the Spirit of the Lord in our midst, ready to give you a new start. Are you the one they call the prostitute? You are going back and like Daniel, you are saying, I will not give up. I will not give up. I fell last month. I fell last year. But this is a new year. I'm shutting a new course with the Holy Ghost. My God! 
I'll not give up. Now, now this is a prayer. This is a prayer. You want to just lift up your hands and you are saying that I'd rather share mommy. I feel you. Share mommy. I don't want to compromise anymore. Share. I don't want to compromise. Share. 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 Pray. I don't want to compromise anymore. I don't want to compromise anymore. I don't want to compromise anymore. Please kindly take your seat. We thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you for your word. We are grateful. We hope to, we pray to know you deeper, closer, well. We want to know you as our God, my God. I pray that for all of us to be our testimony. Thank you. In the name of Jesus, as you give us the spirit of excellence. Amen. Oh, you can do it better for the Lord. You can do it better for the Lord. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I believe that you were blessed. If um, you were blessed by this video, make sure that you click on the share button and share it to a friend and also make sure that you like the video so that youtube can recommend this video to other people so that they can also be blessed by the message if you have any question please make sure that you contact us and we'll get back to you and also if you are watching this video and you don't know jesus christ ask the lord and personal savior i want you to make that decision just contact us in the description call us and let us lead you to receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. And lastly, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and turn on the, that notification bell icon. Turn it on so that when new videos are uploaded, you can be notified. Thank you so much and see you in our next video and prayer section. Bye.